Hey guys, Katie with Kennels of Compassion here again. Um, this is going to be a little bit more like an advertisement, so um, thank you if you are still watching this. I appreciate it very much. This is uh, basically to help raise money for my animal rescue. Um, even if you can't spend any money right now, if you're unemployed or if you just don't have any need for one about to talk about, um, just watching it, you know, getting it views, things like that is very helpful and I appreciate it very much. Um, now, what I do is I make collars and leashes and with proceeds going to the animal rescue. They're made out of paracord. In case you do not know and you can look it up if you do not believe me paracord is a very very sturdy material if you're if you have a dog that pulls when he's walking this is a great material to use because it is not going to break easy it's going to last a very very long time i mean this is the same material that you get from professional factories if you went to PetSmart, something like that uh, three reasons that I would prefer you to go to me instead of PetSmart. one you're probably going to spend a lot less money if you went through me Second, you get to customize the collar, not only color-wise, but with some other options, which I'll talk to you about in a second. And then also, it's for a good cause. I like to spend my own money that I make through working on litter, food, things like that. Now, donations and things like this, money I make from things like this, I like to use that money for feeding uh, feral and stray cats, for having them spayed and neutered, as well as medical costs. You know, if we get an animal in the rescue who has a broken leg, something like that, Usually, I actually, I know for a fact, I just don't have that kind of money laying around. So I work from home. I work a commission-only job, so I don't make a lot of money. I barely am able to pay my bills. So we use the donations and stuff like that to help animals that are sick, that are injured, that are homeless, that don't have people fi or getting them fixed or feeding them and things like that. So every little bit helps. You know, even if you can donate $1 dollar. We say thank you, and we mean that from the bottom of our hearts. One dollar does add up, and it does make a difference. So um, with these, there is a minimum cost. You know, obviously, if you try and offer me $5, I'm going to tell you no. The reason being, I'm putting more than $5 worth of material into one of these, so it's just it's not worth it for me. But, um, you know, there's a minimum cost, but you get to donate what you feel is acceptable, what you feel you can do comfortably financially. Uh, now, I have all sorts of colors, but I'm always willing to go out and get more colors. I actually want to do a Halloween collar for Walter. It's October 3rd, so Halloween's coming up. And then I want to do a Christmas one for him, too. So if you want a holiday-themed one, let me know, and I'll make sure to go out and get those colors in case I don't have them. Um, right now, I have navy blue. I have hot pink, yellow, white, black. Um, for larger dogs, I actually have even a thicker material. So, you know, it's going to be even better for, like, a Great Dane or something like that. If your Great Dane pulls on his collar and leash, this is something that is still going to last and still going to stay. You know, it's going to last you a long time. I can't say that enough. Now, another thing you need to customize, um, there's different beads that I have. I have, you know, what I call my Indian beads or turquoise, things like that. I've got butterflies and pink, silver, gold. Um, I've got a bunch of different kinds of wooden beads. So there's just a lot of different options that you can do. Um, the, with the beads where it's black in here, that's where the beads would go and then you'd still have the colors on the outside. Uh, now on top of that, here's a good example. Every collar, I recommend standard clips, but I have different clips which I'll show you in a second. And then every collar also comes with an ID tag ring so you can put your dog's ID on it. But then also little things like this if you want to have, you know, order that as well. Um, I have different things. I actually have seashells that I got while I was in Mexico. So if you want, you know, a seashell, I recommend these more so for like a bracelet for yourself. I usually like to do matching. So, you know, I'll make your dog a paracord, collar, or a leash, and then I'll make you something out of hemp. Now, if you want paracord as well, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, it's just to make you happy. It's custom, so whatever you want. But for the dogs, cats, things like that, animals, I highly recommend something, you know, this is like plastic and metal. This is metal. You have all sorts of things, but if there's something you're looking for in particular, maybe you want a diamond, like a fake diamond, or a crown, or just whatever, anything you can think of, I'll go out and I'll try my best to find it. If I can't, I'll let you know what else I find that's similar. If you don't like it, you know, fine. There's nothing I can do about it if I can't find what you're looking for, but I'll try my best. I really will. And then also, like I said, there's different clips. I highly, highly, highly recommend the standard clip. It's sturdy. I can wrap the cord around it more, so it's, again, it's just more sturdy. I don't know how to put that. But I do have toggle class. Um, you know, I have these little itty bitty ones that are kind of like the ones you have on necklaces. I have the ones that you twist. So there's different options. Um, with those, I recommend them for uh, like indoor collars, I guess you could say. Uh, they're really good for cats. For cats, I usually do the hemp. Um, just because, you know, if you're not going to be walking the pet, the paracord is sturdy. 
this isn't, I mean, I shouldn't say that. This is sturdy. This is going to last you a very long time still. But if you're going to plan on taking your dog on a walk, this is not good because this is going to rip off of the clasp. So, again, I do not recommend the hemp if you're going to be taking your dog on a walk with it. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. It's just not going to last if that's what you're planning to do. So if you do want hemp, it's just something that more so for your dog or your cat to wear around the house. Again, I highly recommend those for cats. That's what I do for my cat's collars. Um, otherwise, I'm trying to think if I really left anything out. Um, contact. The best way to contact me is going to my Tumblr account, which is kennelsofcompassion.tumblr.com. If you don't have a Tumblr account, uh, the next best way to reach me, go to my Facebook, which is facebook.com slash kennelsofcompassion, and you'll see on there ways to contact me. Click on the About button, and then scroll down to the bottom, and it'll have my contact information, um, the best time to contact me, how to contact me specifically, things like that. Um, if you do live out of state, I live in Arizona, that's perfectly fine. My mom works at FedEx, so I will make sure to send it as soon as she goes to work. She works Monday through Friday, so I do not ship on weekends, but I do ship Monday through Friday. Um, I'll try to get it there as soon as possible. If you're trying to do something for Halloween, I'll make sure to expedite it so that it will get there before Halloween. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions or anything like that, please contact me by, again, going to my Facebook or by going to my Tumblr account and go to the Ask box and talk to me there. You do need a Tumblr account to do that. If you don't have a Tumblr, again, go to my Facebook. Otherwise, if everybody could go to my Facebook, again, facebook.com slash kennels of compassion. Please click the like button. Clicking like helps way more than I can express to you. You know, it spreads the word to others. Even if you're in another state or country, it'll eventually get back to me or somebody could see it and just donate. Um, also, if you want to donate, I am able to accept anything from $1 or more. And again, a dollar really does help. So if you can donate $1, I appreciate it very, very much. Go to www.desertcats.org. I'm sorry, desertcats.org, and you'll see a PayPal button on the right. And that is also how you'll be paying for these. If you live in Arizona, you can come pick it up if you would feel better doing that. Um, this one is actually already complete, and it is ready to go. I believe it's about 13 inches. Um, I'll be able to tell you for sure when you contact me. I'll measure it again. I have a miniature schnauzer. He's an adult and he's regular average size, so it fits him absolutely perfectly. Um, obviously, this one's for a female. I mean, you can put it on your male dog. I don't care. It's up to you. But, uh, yeah, this is it. It comes with standard class. comes with the ID ring. If you want to add anything, you know, any of these things, just let me know. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your night.